Now, we're on a serious topic. The G85 is having issues. Yes. Um, I don't know what's wrong with it. I'll be sending it in probably tomorrow. That's why I'm doing this issue overview, per se. So, right now, if I take this hood off, you can see inside the lens, there's actually something inside there. Um, and it's also a little scratched up. But, yeah, you can see inside the lens, it's mainly the lens it looks like, but it's it's got something in there. So, that's one of the reasons why I'm sending this in. Um, it's a great lens. I don't know if it's just the lens or if it's the body as well. Because, you know, I use my cameras a lot. And this one I've been using a lot. Unfortunately, I haven't been using it for the late sectionals. Um, because of, um, there's been a battery issue. But that will be fixed uh, once I get this sent in. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a great camera. I love it overall. It's really quick. Pictures are fast. Um, it's just, there's something wrong with the lens. I don't know if it's a sensor issue or what it may be, but there's something wrong with it. Um, and if you know anything about me, I get the protection plan on the items. So for you... And there's nothing there. It probably looks like it's fine. There's a little bit of a little bit of a hair in there, but that's about it. And I'm not gonna mess with that because like as then I have the um Geek Squad protection on it. So pretty much what I do, I take the memory cards out of here, because I have uh you know two memory cards in there. One's a 128, one's a 64. I'll take those out. Um, the battery will stay in, probably. They might ask to take it out, but they can do that when I take it in. And then this camera will go in to be serviced for the... Maybe it's just the lens. I mean, now I'm looking at this, and it looks like it's just the lens itself. Which, if that's the case, it won't be hard to fix. It could just be the lens. And when I take it in tomorrow, um, maybe I can try another lens on the camera to see if it's just the lens itself. Um, but my season's done now. So technically, I can take it, have them service it, make sure it all works, get ready for the winter sports to start up in about two weeks, I think they start up. That's what I'm saying. There will be a lot more Minecraft videos, live streams, all that kind of stuff coming up on my channel. But yeah, I mean, overall, this camera has been great for what I've been using it for. It's fast. The video is great on it. The 4K video, I don't really use it. But the HD video, 80 pictures per second when you're doing video. Only 80 per clip, but that's okay. The GD5, the older one I had of this, only took 40. So this takes 80, double the amount. With 4K, like I mentioned before in my other videos, it will do 10 pictures in 4K with the other model. This one is, I think, 20. So that's why I don't shoot 4K, because you only take 20 pictures, and then you're done. But then the quality is better, and you can get um, better pictures after. But I like to do them during the video, like with the... F991, the one that's video in this, this video right now, I can take stills, and it's unlimited stills. With the 4K, it's only 10 pictures. That's why it's a lot easier to shoot the HD and get 80 photos, or, like I said, with my new rig, put both cameras on it, do the, the, the video on this one, and just do stills on this one, but it's kind of hard to do that with the winter sports, especially with ice hockey, when I only have, a, like, a little area there. So, having one camera is better, and the, ba and, the and when I get the camera either fixed, or if I have to buy the exact same one, I'll get the battery grip that would attach to the bottom, 
And then you have the bear inside and the bear in the berry grip, which should o hopefully go for four, um, four hours of record time. With that berry grip, also, you can hop swap on them out. So when the, the berry in the berry grip goes, right, it'll switch to the internal. You pop that berry out, you pop a new one in, you can go for another two hours on that berry. And it think, I think it switches back to the other berry. Not sure. But that's, and, and then on top of that, if, if the camera's not fixable, at this point, I don't know if I'll buy this one again, or if I'll buy a different camera. So, leave in the comments, like, should I get this camera again, if it's not fixable, or should I buy another camera, what camera would you suggest? In the comment section below, please. So, um, and then the other thing with this camera, I don't know if I mentioned, you can get, uh, on the top of the hot shoot, you can get, um, XRR ports, so you can plug in mics. Um, you can get a flash as well, on top of it as well. So this camera is really, um, easy to use, but like I said, right now, it's, I haven't been using it, um, mainly because of it blurring, the photos blurring in here. Alright, I don't know if it's because of the glass. I think I the next camera I do get, if this one's fixable or not, I'm going to get a lens um, filter or cover. Because that would protect the lens, even with this on top. Now this right here is a shield. It does block out the sunlight. It's a little dusty, but I haven't been using this camera, so that's why. But that protects any, like... Rain from hitting it, even this camera is waterproof or resistant. I'm not sure if it's waterproof or if it's water resistant. It's one of those. But the camera's been a great camera. Like I said, I will be sending this camera in probably tomorrow morning to get service done on it. Um, to find out why is it messing up? Why is it not working the, like when I first had it? I also did look at old videos of the G85. Which is the other camera I had before I had this. And they seem to have the same hunting of the video. I don't know if it's just because I don't know how to use it correctly. And that's why. But whatever it is. It, it's a great camera. And I love it. And if it's not fixable. I'll probably get the same one. And do a, another unboxing maybe. If you'd like to see me unbox it again. And we can talk more about the features and the batteries and all that. Um, but yeah, it's a great camera overall. Two card slots. Video, dedicated video button right there. Photo there. 80 pictures per... It's 40 pictures per second when you're not taking video with it. So it's a great camera overall. Um, you got your um, different shooting moments here. So you got your... Fast shutter. Got your single. I usually leave it in automatic. It usually gives me the best shot. That way. I don't know. I haven't really used it that much. Um, because of the issues with the, the focusing. So I haven't really been using it lately. Um, it's a great camera though. That's why I want to do this quick video on it. Explaining what's going on with it and what should you know if it's not fixable, what should I do? Should I buy a new camera, buy the same one? Um, just stuff like that. I mean, I love the camera. If I did rebuy it, I'd definitely get the battery grip and also extra battery for the battery grip because you get one with the camera when you buy it, so you need another one for the battery grip. The battery grip is about 300, I believe. The accessory for the top is about 300. Um, the flash is about 200, I believe. 200 to 500. So there's a range for that. But this camera is great. Um, if you haven't seen any of my 4K, or not 4K video, any of my HD video with this camera, it's outrageous. Now, during the fall sports, or winter sports, fall's done, winter sports, if you want me to shoot in 4K at the game, let me know before the game because I can easily shoot 4K. Because with the, um, basketball, at least with basketball and maybe ice hockey, 
I have sometimes I can stop the video and restart the video quicker than if it's like ice hockey. I mean wrestling. So I can get more shots off during the video. So if I do get this camera back in time, those sports will probably be done with this. I'll get the battery grip, get the another battery, get a thing on top so I can do XLR inputs into the camera. Obviously, I'll be doing unboxings of all those items. So, yeah. The lens I have right now is a, a 45 to 200. I don't like it for the... I didn't like it for the spring sports uh, or fall. It was just too close up. When I was on the field, you can actually see it. So what my plan is, if it's you know if it's not fixable or the battery's fi fixed, the lens isn't. I'll get a a 14 or it's a 14. I think it's a 15 to 150 is what I had on the G85, and it's much better zoom. It's like the zoom on this camera that you're watching right now. It's got that kind of zoom on it. So it's a better zoom overall. The 200 is nice, but it's not needed for what I use it for. A 150 is fine. It's only 58 less than this camera. Just means you can't be as close. You know. But, um, yeah, so this camera will be going in to get fixed. So, so long. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, um, yeah, I think that's all I had to say for today. Um, go bees. Seasons are done. Um, party time. Christmas is right around the Thanksgiving and Christmas are around the corner. So, uh, hopefully you can have some parties. We're definitely going to be doing some Minecraft live streams, Let's Play videos, all that good stuff coming up on my channel. Not today, but soon later on. And until my next video, I'm gonna have to say buh bye for now. What?